What's up, Winuchas? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a different style video. As you can see, we did not have no intro. We kind of just walked right into the food. So this is going to be kind of like a mukbang. I don't know if I'm going to fast forward it. I'll be doing a little bit of fast forwarding. And I'll probably use background music because me personally, I don't know how I feel about chewing noises. I personally just can't watch it. That's just me. I know a lot of people like that. So when I edit this, we'll see how I feel if I leave all those chewing sounds on. But I don't think I will. So in front of me, we have two Chicago deep dish style pizzas from Rosati's. Now I've had Rosati's a few times and I personally love their deep dish pizza. Plus it's like 10 minutes from the house. I don't have to drive all the way to the other spots that serve that serve deep dish pizza. Cause by the time it gets back, it would be cold. And I already got a cheese pull for the thumbnail, but let's see if it still exists. I mean, we got some cheese pull and you know what? Since this is my hand, I'm just gonna go ahead and ah. Uh, Mm. Oh, yes. Deep dish pizza is 28 fire emojis. I love it. So for this deep dish pizza, which is a 10 inch, I went ahead and added meatballs, which I don't know if I've ever had meatballs in a pizza. Sausage, yes, but meatballs, um, I don't think I have. Mm. We have Canadian bacon, we have jalapenos, and we have pepperoni. And for the bigger Chicago deep dish pizza, it is a 14 inch, which is their biggest one they offer. It is pretty massive and I went pretty basic on this one. It only has pepperonis and cheese, which is fine because this is the one I added pretty much everything. Well, you have four available toppings to add and I went ahead and added all four. So for desserts, we have a tiramisu. I love this stuff. We have two cannolis and then we have some fries, which I've already had a few. The crinkle fries, and I gotta say, these crinkle fries are fantastic. Very good. Mm. Nice and crisp. And it came with some cheese. Mmm. Have cheesy fries. Oh, yes. Okay. Mmm. Cheese is so good. So let's go ahead and just finish the slice that I've already started eating. Mmm. This is fantastic. Just do some cheese with that. So I'm currently editing this and I can't not use background music. So as soon as this voiceover goes, I am going to go ahead and input background music and I just, you know, mm, ah, mm, mm, just, ah. Okay, that is some fantastic pizza. I love the little spice that you get from the jalapenos, which is why I added them. You guys have been following me. You guys know I like the little spice. I'm not so good at handling really spicy stuff, but I love spice. We had a fork because I don't know. I will probably need a fork with this because deep dish can get really messy. Mm. And I do love the Canadian bacon. Ugh, small cheese pull. And then we're gonna go ahead and taste the pepperoni pizza one. Both the pizzas are phenomenal. And I think my new favorite thing is cheese on crust or this type of cheese. I call this nacho cheese, but using it for the crust, wow, that's fantastic. Now I am new to this whole mukbang thing. I, I, I don't think I've ever done it correctly and I probably won't do it correctly for this video. Nope. I just don't know how to not edit a video. And I know a lot of mukbangs are not edited. Actually, after doing a little bit of research, I found that all the massive mukbang channels or ASMR channels are all edited. Oh, 
I got a hit of that jalapeno. Mmm. Ooh. It's in my nature to want to edit. Those jalapenos have a kick to it. <clears throat> mm -mm. In my seating arrangement right now, it's very awkward because I'm like on a low stool right now. Ooh, it's already hot in here. have the fan blowing on me, which is not a good thing because it's already cooling off the pizza. And I'm trying to eat it as warm as possible. I have to say this might be the fastest time I've ever eaten after I picked it up because I usually have to do B-roll and set it up and the whole nine yards and this is all set up already. So we have just about half, oh gosh, burp. So we have just about half of the 10 inch deep dish pizza done. I do have to clean up my mess. Here we go. Mm. Might as well just pull those fries out. I was contemplating on getting wings, but I didn't. Oh, I really should finish this so I have some more room. So I got so much going on here. Oreo. So I'll just go ahead and finish the fries. For the fries, I'd give this like, these are perfect crinkle fries. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Okay, fries done. They have to be some of the best crinkle fries I've ever had. Thus, the 10 out of 10 rating. Now we'll go ahead and finish the rest of this pie here. This position, what mukbangers do, they put the table really high and they literally do this when they eat. I have no idea how they do it because it is the most uncomfortable way to film a video. I don't like my elbows not being able to rest. It's just weird to me. I know that it makes the food look bigger or closer in perspective, like they push it all the way there but it's just so uncomfortable. I should have just used my normal chairs. So I'll give you a close look. I don't think I did that earlier. It kind of just looks like a mess, but it's oh so good. Uh. Two more pieces left. There we go. Um. Finish with that. I have a little bit of scraps that I should clean up though before we proceed. Those jalapenos start to build up heat because my mouth is on fire right now. I think we're good with that. Mm. Pepperoni. Bada bing. Now you guys see all my drinks. I will say, deep dish is pretty filling. Hmm, so if you guys So for those of you that are Randy Santel fans He is going to be here this week and we are going to be filming um, I think two videos at least that's what I have so far He'll be down here for about a week 
uh, maybe a little longer. He's on his Southeast tour, if I'm correct. And he's already hit Tampa, Sarasota, all those places. And he'll finally be down here in the Miami area. We're gonna be doing a seafood challenge, which is crawfish. And that's gonna be at the Fish House Miami. So I don't know what the challenge entails other than it's the ultimate crawfish challenge. I've never eaten a crawfish, as crazy as that sounds. And the other challenge that we're going to be doing, here, let me get a few bites of this because I really need some of this. The second food challenge I'll be attending with them is going to be a tomahawk steak challenge. Now, I don't know the name of the restaurant. It is in Miami as well. So I didn't take a photo of it, but it is on my computer. So I'll go ahead and post a picture somewhere out here. So as of right now, those are the two challenges that I will be attempting with him. It's been a while since I've done a food challenge. I think the last one was the one I did with Joel, the burger and massive bucket of fries challenge. And that video did super good. I was like, whoa, I was not expecting that. But shout out to everyone that watched it. Very much appreciated. Now I am moving like a snail because we established that turtles are not slow at all. Hmm. I wish I had a heater right here to keep this and cheese. Hmm. To keep the cheese from solidifying, but this cheese is all solidified. So we finished half of the dip dish pizza, deep dish. So we finished half of the deep, half of the. So we finished half of the deep dish pizza. Now it's kind of difficult to eat it. Now the cheese, it is pretty much like eating a mozzarella stick that has solidified. So you know when you break a mozzarella stick and it's not fresh anymore, it's just like hard and rubbery. That's what this pizza has turned into. There's a life expectancy on deep dish pizza. You have to eat it pretty quickly before it turns into um, pretty, like, this is a solid. And I'm debating if I'm gonna eat the rest of it. No food will go to waste, but I'm debating if I'm gonna eat the rest of it. But in the meantime, we do have a beautiful cannoli here. You have the pistachio on both sides. Now, I love me some cannoli. Mm. Oh, okay. It just broke into pieces. Mm. It is very enjoyable. Mm. One of the better cannolis that I've had. I think the texture of the cream inside is on point. Now we will be finishing this in just a second, but I have a tiramisu here. Now I fell in love with tiramisu. I think 
in Germany. Because I don't know if I ever had a tiramisu before that. I might have, but I just can't remember. But I do like the texture of tiramisu because it's so soft, light, and fluffy. Oh, wow. So this one is heavy in liquor. It's almost like a sourish taste. Mm. It's sour in the beginning and then it kind of just levels off. I don't know if I like this one. I think it's just a little too heavy in the liquor. Yeah. It almost, mm, it almost confuses you because when you take that bite, you're like, oh, whoa, is this, is this good? Because it, it tastes like it could be bad. But no, it just confuses you. I've had better ones than uh, this one for sure. But I've been getting requests to do a Q&A in a future video. Now, I wanted to know if I did a Q&A, which I should because I haven't done a Q&A in like, like two years. That's crazy. All right. That's yeah, that's pretty crazy. But if and when I do a QA, and a um, should I do it like I'm doing now? Kind of just eating and talking to you guys? Or should I just do it like a standalone video? I'm not sure. I feel like I'd have to throw some food in it just because for the entertainment value. Oops. Also, for a way to ask me a question, it would have to be on Instagram. Um, the reason being is I go through the comment section in YouTube, but I don't go through it after a certain amount of time. After it's been like two days, um, I don't go in there anymore. One, and I established this, you know, a while ago. Um, there was a lot of negativity in the comment section and I took a break from reading comments altogether. Now I do go there every now and then when I get the email notifications on my desktop. But for me and my own sanity, um, I don't go there too often. So if I did a Q and A, it would def I would definitely ask the question on my Instagram, and then I would make a video. That's done. So if you guys were interested in participating in a future Q&A, it won't be this week because this week is crazy, um, but maybe towards the end of this month, I'll definitely do a Q&A. So if you guys were interested in participating in that, follow my Instagram. I don't post there too often. If I do, I post like food posts in my stories. Oh, this will be my last item for this video. I won't let the pizza go to waste. I'll definitely eat it. Um, but I'm going to have to reheat that and melt that cheese. And uh, I'll probably do that later tonight. Okay. <clears throat> let me know uh, if you like this type of video, kind of no B-roll, just straight to the point, kind of speaking with you guys, maybe have some topics or whatnot, tell you guys what's going on with my life, things like that. Just figured I'd try something different. Um, let me know what you guys think. But that'll be it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up, put this away for later on tonight. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, it mean the world. Um, like the video if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you cool cats in the next video. Peace.